Hi, um, Blue Star Stingway. Do you mind if I interview you? Not at all. Can you tell me what you eat and what your mouth is like? Of course. I eat little animals that live on the, in the sand on the ocean bottom. I suck them up, then crush them with the tooth plates in my mouth. They totally hate it when I do that. Thanks. It's been it's been fun hanging out with, with you in the week. We are off to the lab now. No problem. We are now in the Collections Resource Center at the Field Museum, and we are talking with Dr. Mark Westney. Dr. Westney, what do you study? I study fish. I'm interested in marine biology and coral reefs with an emphasis on the huge diversity of coral reef fishes. Thanks. Now we have a question for you. Sure. Dr. Westney, can you explain stingray mouth parts and how they use it to eat? Yeah, I have a stingray right here. This is the blue spotted stingray. Uh, Tiniura lima is the scientific name. And its mouth parts are underneath on its ventral side, on the bottom side of the fish. And they're two big plates of cartilage and it swims along the bottom and it detects its prey with little electric cells that it has in its snout, electric detection cells. And when it, when it grabs something with its jaws, it chews them up with those jaws and then swallows it. Thanks, Dr. Wesley. That was really helpful. You're welcome. We are making a movie about how the blue spotted stingray feeds. Today we learned that stingrays eat shrimps, crabs, and other body dwellers. Stingrays have a sixth sense, the aculeate of Lorenzini, that allows them to sense their prey or the weak electrical signals they give. Stingrays have a stinger at the base of their tail connected to venom glands that paralyze 